Prince Harry has won the latest stage of his libel case against the Mail on Sunday. This is over an article that alleged he was trying to keep his legal claim against the Home Office a secret. Harry and Meghan, of course, have a history of pursuing legal action against the UK media and have launched five suits over the last three years, including two against the BBC. So, should they stop suing? I'm actually feeling slightly offended that I'm one of the few things in life they haven't sued, it mm. seems, because it doesn't oh. take very much for Harry and Meghan to go, we don't like this very much, so let's sue. Should we sue, Harry? Yeah, let's do... That's what we need, another lawsuit. Yeah. They're at it all the time, Mike. They seem to have an awful lot of lawyers on sort of standby, don't they, sort of running hot and cold lawyers all over the place. I'm just looking, actually, at some pictures of them from a July the 4th outing they made with, with Archie to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which is a very nice, trendy little spot. You know, the thing is, the trouble with them is, and I know JJ's probably <laughs> going to argue with me here, is that they sort of want their cake and they want to eat it as well, because they say they want to be living in a private way, but then they want to keep <laughs> appearing as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and they want to use that yeah, fame yeah. in order to make more money. <laughs> no, so, no. you know, if you really want to be... If they really wanted to be reclusive, they but could go they and live want, in Wyoming and have that. a little ranch, and then they could stay away. Nobody would bother this them. Is the problem, Nobody would write about This them. is the problem, isn't it, is that their words keep getting twisted. Exactly. How? They are, because they did not say they want to be reclusive. Yeah. They said they want to control um, what... The, the, the narrative. The narrative yeah. and, and control some of the no, he said No, but he has said that he doesn't want to be in the public spotlight. He doesn't want he to be to part of the... It. He wants to control Yeah, well, you, guess what? You can't control it. Well, you can. You know, you I'd can. like to control yeah. the weather, you know, but it's a bit warm <laughs> for me today. <laughs> doesn't mean I can. The thing is, they never said that we want complete privacy. Those words never came out of their mouth. Exactly. What they said was they wanted to be able to take control of the narrative, which I think is fair. Anybody it's not wants fair. to do that. Of course it hey, is. Ever, ever, we've just talked about politicians and people in the public eye being attacked. Mm. Everybody has a right to control what people know about. No, they don't. So, yes, so I think, they so do. Degree, I think when you're in that level of spotlight, i.e. you are, yeah. you know, in, you're, you're one of the people, you're, you're, you're the royal family, you're partly in line to the throne, or you were until you were kicked out or whatever the heck happened. And then, of course, you marry a beautiful woman who's a kind of half-famous actress to start with. That in, in flares up everything else because it's unconventional. How fantastic, etc. was that? The greatest celebrity mm -hmm. couple in the world. And then they go, you know, we don't want this anymore. It's like, well, as Mike says, you know, well, I'm afraid it doesn't quite work no. like that. People are going to have an interest in you. And also, we know an awful lot about them because we have paid for them because they're the royal family. So Very we true. Have, yeah. and we have yeah. actually... And, so we, and we have known about him for an awful long and time. That is fine. But the fact from before he but was the, born, we the knew about him. The problem is, is that... This, like JJ said so rightly, the words keep getting twisted. So it's not like they, they said they didn't want to be working royals. Mm -hmm. They said they wanted to control the narrative. He never said that they wanted to completely wanted complete privacy. They never said they wanted to disappear from the public eye. They're making a documentary for Netflix for goodness sake. Of course, they still want to be able to put content out there. They know that, and they're mm. not stupid. I think... But I, I also think that if. Um, broadcasters, newspapers, whoever, whoever it is, whatever the five cases are, are writing things about them that's incorrect. They have a right to correct you that. You can't lie to me, I get that, but there's going to be times when, you know, mm. there are things written about mm. them that is out of their right. control. And also, you can't say to Netflix, you know, let's do a fly-on-the-wall documentary series about us but we'll only tell you some things. Because that world doesn't work like that. The media doesn't work like that. The media says, you're in the public eye, therefore uh, we are entitled to write about you. No. And, of course, that's what the free press is all but about. They're not, like, they're not entitled to write lies about them. They don't yes, write lies about them. Everybody's entitled to write about them. They haven't been totally straightforward about other people either, though. And, and, and you know, about the royal family, for example. And they're not entitled to lie either. No-one's entitled no, exactly. to lie. Aren't. But, but, there but there are, will be people who are saying, just stop suing. Just stop suing. Yeah. Stop getting, stop, you know, just say, we don't like this and write your own narrative and then just back off. No, I but think that's, that's probably, well, there will be people who are saying there that. Will be people, well, there will be people yeah. saying that, but that doesn't make it okay for someone to publish something that is factually incorrect. If you tell people yeah. a lie about me, I have every right to then say, Penny, I'm going to sue you for that lie. And hopefully that will deter you from doing it again. Yes, but they're yes, not doing exactly. just that, are they? Because what they're doing is they're leaking details of their lives and what they want people to know about. Uh, in sometimes quite a, a malicious way about other members of the royal family through that bloke Omid Scobie, you know, who is their kind of unofficial spokesman. And if he says it, apparently it's yeah. all right.
But nobody has any comeback to them because they say, oh, no, we never spoke to him. But unfortunately, yeah. she was proved to have lied about that because it turned out that she did actually give her, her friends permission to speak to the press. So, you know, it's a very mixed-up world and you can't dictate how it runs. It's I'm just afraid. like, with that amount of lawsuits, you have to think, you know, this is, it just looks a bit... I mean, they're on the Christmas card list at the Old Bailey for yeah. this. You know, it's like, <laughs> how right. many more? <laughs>